Hello and welcome to Craft with Sarah. In this video I'm going to show you how you can move layers around on your Cricut mats when you go to cut something out so that you can cut more shapes from one piece of cardstock. Hello and welcome to Design Space Daily, helping you learn Cricut Design Space in short and snappy video tutorials. When you click make it in Design Space, it sorts all of your projects into the mats for you. And you can then change the size of the paper using these drop downs. Now I'm in the UK and we tend to use A4 paper, so more often than not I'm changing things to A4. But that's really annoying because sometimes it splits things onto two bits of paper when I know that I could fit both of them on one sheet. I don't want to use two bits of paper when one would do because I'm a crafter and I like to be economical with my supplies. So what you can do is you can move things onto different mats to help them all fit together. So for this cat I've got the shape on this one piece of paper and then I've got the head which Cricut has put onto another mat but I know I can fit that on there. So what I can do is select the one with the head and then just click it and you get a little button with three dots. Click into there and then press move object and then choose the other mat of the same colour. Now it's important that you choose the mat of the same colour because we're cutting this out of grey card. If I was to move the head onto the green, it would cut out of green and that's not what I want. So I've chosen the grey mat with the body on and then press confirm. And now this has moved it onto the same mat. Now at the moment this is no good because it's sitting on top of that other image so it's going to cut them out and it's going to cut out the bottom one and it won't be two separate shapes. But you can click and drag to move things about. So now that is going to cut both shapes out of one piece of paper. If you're struggling to fit it, you can click on an image and you've got a little rotate button so you can turn it round and sometimes that makes it even easier to get more things onto one mat because you can turn them around to fit in all of the little spaces. I'll show you one more time so I've got the same thing on this black mat. When I change it to A4, it's put the cat face onto a second mat but I want it on the first one so click the cat head press the dots and then move object. I'm going to select the black mat with the cat body and press confirm. And now it's not right at the moment because they're sitting one on top of the other but I can move that cat head down to the bottom and now that's going to work because they're both completely separate shapes. So if I go ahead and change these ones to A4 I think they'll probably be okay because there's not an awful lot on them so that's just the eyes so that can be smaller. Okay so you'll notice you've still got these mats there even though they're now empty but don't worry about that because when you hit continue they'll disappear. So just to show you I've got six mats there at the moment including my now empty grey and black mats but when I press continue they disappear so now I've just got the four separate mats and if you hover over you can see how that's going to cut out. So now instead of using six sheets of card like it was originally trying to get me to, I can get away with just using four. And that's a really handy trick for preserving your cardstock or your vinyl because you can use the same trick if you're cutting on vinyl or in fact whatever it is that you're cutting it out on. Because we all know we want to keep our supplies as long as we can so moving things about on the mat before you cut them out is a fantastic way to do that. I hope you've enjoyed this design space tutorial. If you have, please subscribe to my channel because I release new videos every week and check out my other videos because there are a ton more design space tips and tricks all waiting for you to watch. Thank you for watching.